What's up? My name is Rog Bagaros and I'm the KTM factory stunt rider. Been riding bikes for 15 years and today we're gonna look into the most common riding mistakes bikers do and how to improve them. Let's start with the first common mistake and that's grabbing the brake. Bike riding is all about smooth movement and same goes for the brakes. I can't point out enough how important it is to have a steady brake control. When I take group rides around the world, a lot of times I have some beginner bikers with me and I can see them, they are taking the fistful of brake and stop on a red light like this, a very aggressive, weird way. There is a simple solution for that problem. Instead of using four fingers, use two of them and this will still give you enough brake power and it will smoothen up your brake control. Beginners often start with a too big of a bike for their skill and there is nothing worse than to start with a big powerful machine that makes you nervous and this slows down the whole process of learning how to ride a bike properly and the proper techniques. Instead, start with a smaller one between 300 and 500 cc such as this KTM 390 Duke and there is a lot of options on the market. I'm also doing that in my stunt riding in the past 15 years, always starting on a small smaller bike once I master the trick then I continue to the bigger one same on the racing starting with a small bike continuing the bigger one and same on the street so guys the small bikes yes it's smaller CC but it's also fast enough it is light and it's also forgiving so a small mistake with the clutch or whatever will not result in a crash right away my friends from Hayes Power Sports like the idea of the video since they are also bikers and they would love to keep us safe on the road and they said we're gonna support you. So as you can see I'm using the Hayes Reflex 32 calipers on my Beast, I'm also using them on my stunt bike and on my race bikes. They have a wide variety of brake components such as brake calipers, brake pumps, brake discs and many more. You can discover on their website or follow them on the Instagram. And now. Let's continue with the next common mistake and let's see how we can improve it. The next common mistake is not wearing your riding gear. Especially in the hot days, we are too lazy to put on the gear and we just continue our trip to the neighborhood in just flip-flops, shorts and t-shirt. But you can end up in a huge road rash and looking like a mummy. The same thing I did and since then I'm always riding with my proper gear, with the boots, with the pants, with the jacket, with the gloves and with my helmet. And last thing guys, don't buy a bike if you spend all your money on the machine and there is nothing left for the protective gear and you try to find the cheapest way on Amazon to get it. So plan your finances so you always have $1,000 left for some high quality gear and this will make you safe on the long term. The next mistake we all do, the rookie riders and the experienced riders. We buy a helmet and straight away a dark visor because it looks 10 times better, right? And this also helps us to see better if it's sunny. But what happens if we lose the feeling of the time and the darkness comes, we don't see nothing, right? So we have two options, open up the visor, eat a lot of mosquitoes and clear them out of the eyes or go to the hardware store and buy these cheap safety glasses Put them on when the darkness comes and you have no problems with the flies in your eyes. We all did this common mistake when we joined a group of riders that we don't know that well. So suddenly they are picking up the speed, going faster and faster and we want to keep up, right? But in that moment, put your ego on the side and continue your own pace because what can happen? Suddenly they are going so fast in the corner that it's out of your skill level and you cannot make the corner and we all know how this can end. So be careful guys, leave them go, they will wait anyway on their next crossing for you so you can catch up and you continue your bike trip together. If you like that video so far, smash the like button and help the algorithm to show the video to your fellow bikers and keep them safe. I have a habit to leave my helmet on the mirror when I park my bike, so the next common mistake is not checking your mirrors when you start a trip from the parking lot. Why? Because when you remove the helmet, sometimes you change the angle of the mirror and you need to fiddle around while you are riding and we all know that's not really a safe way. So always throw an eye on it before you leave the parking lot. 
The next common mistake can lead to serious lack of bike riding and motivation to wrench on your bikes. I'm talking about the Rockwalker Stunt Rider YouTube channel and more than 80% of people are not subscribed. So time to change that guys, hit the subscribe button and don't miss out on huge giveaways like we are having one right now is winning a brand new ktm 125 duke bike how to attend it you can check on bogersperformance.com good luck and let me know in the comments below what bike mistakes you did in the past how you solved them and let's learn together let's make our riding better and safer rock on